Geometry. Geometry for kids. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to our first video about geometry. We had, video. We had yeah, yeah, we had an intro video, and now it's uh, the first video where we are actually going to start doing and talking about geometry. Are you excited, Natalie? Yeah. Yeah. So Natalie is here, and um, and we're gonna get started with definitions. So we're gonna do a few definitions, so uh, so we know what we're talking about. Um, why do we do definitions? Oh, yeah, so in math, definitions are very important because we want to be super precise about what we talk in math. So we want to know exactly what we're talking about so we can start doing things and proving things and uh, making sure that what we say is correct. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's get started with some very basic definitions. First of all, in geometry, a point is a location. So, does that make sense, Natalie? Um, yeah, so technically a point is place. Yeah, it's just a place. It has no size, no width, no length, no depth, and it's just shown by a dot. Any of these uh, locations is a point. So here is uh, a point. Let me draw it for you. So here is a point, and here's another point, and here's another point, and we draw um, little dots to look to denote those locations to tell you what location I'm talking about. But they're already there. Yeah, the, the points place. are everywhere. There are points everywhere here, here, here. Um, but uh, when we draw the dot, it's just to say, okay, I'm going to talk about this location right here. Okay. Uh, and then we have the plane. The plane in geometry is the collection of all points. All right. So like we're all points live? Or... Yeah, where all the points live. So in here, this uh, this uh, image or this screen of yours, that's going to be our plane, and that's where all the points live. That's correct. Um, so, so all of this uh, is a plane because there's lots of points here, here, and here, and here, and um, it's, this is because we're going to be doing plane geometry, so just uh, two-dimensional geometry. We were going to do three-dimensional geometry then it would be a space so it would be a 3d space and there will be points all around in like air right in, in space or uh, higher dimensional geometry or even if sometimes people do one-dimensional geometry so just in one line so all the points in one given line um, but we haven't defined line yet right have it? Have we? We can't say we can't use that word until we define it. Yeah, yeah. So let let's talk about lines. What are lines? Um, before we talk about lines, we need to talk about segments. So a uh, segment is the shortest path between two points on the plane. So let me let me pick two points on the plane, this and this, and then there are many paths that go from this point to this one, like this, and then what mathematicians have agreed is that a line. Uh, is of all of these paths that or go seg or a segment segment a, a, yeah yeah exactly a segment. a segment from A to B is the shortest of all paths that go from A to B uh, so uh, that's I'm going to get my ruler here and uh, and make a straight line let me see if it works out right there I'm going to make a line that goes from A to B oh nice Nice, it worked out really nicely. Okay, so that's the segment from A to B is that shortest path. Okay, right. we can't use the word straight path because we haven't defined straight. This definition actually defines straight. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, this is the way basically we define straight is by saying it's the shortest path on the plane between points A and B. All right? right. Make, make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we can move on. Then a line is uh, the extension of a segment infinitely in both directions. So if we continue this line uh, in this direction here and uh, in this direction here, it just continues forever. That's the entire line uh, that passes through A and B. I should have used the ruler. Uh, so it's a little bit straighter than that. Yeah. Um, and then if you only extend the line uh, a segment in one direction. So if I extend this uh, from this point, I'm going to extend the line. Uh, oops. Uh, so I'm going to extend the line, but only in one direction, then that's a ray instead of a line. Because if I just go 
dot, 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 like that in one direction, then that's a ray instead of a line. Okay, so it makes sense what a line is? Yeah. All right, so we have... And a ray. Segment, shortest path between two points, line, the extension of a segment in both directions, and ray, if I extend the line, the segment only in one direction. All right, very good. Whoops. All right, so now... Um, now we can talk about uh, what types of lines do we have. So we have uh, two types of lines. If we have two lines, they can be in two different positions. They can be lines that intersect, um, meaning that they meet at a point. So here's a point where these lines uh, met is that point right there. And that is called the intersection point. Or there can be lines that never meet. And these two lines, so these lines uh, are in such position that even if we continue them for infinity, they will never meet. Okay. And lines that intersect at a point, those are called secant. And lines that never meet are called parallel. So these are uh, secant lines. And that is the point of intersection right here. And these are called parallel lines. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> Did you like the, you like how I wrote uh, the L's? Yeah, I like yeah. those. Okay, so we have uh, what do we have so far? Points, planes, segments, lines, lines rays, rays, secant lines, lines, parallel lines, lines. and then. Uh, the fun starts really when you start talking about circles. So if you have a circle, a uh, circle, uh, can you read the definition, Natalie? Is the set of all points at the same distance from the central point or the center. So technically, like, if you were to draw um, a line on, let's say, the top side of the circle or the top side right now of the circle, mm -hmm. and the bottom side of the circle, they'd be two each side they'd be the same length yeah so so here is what i'm going to call the center so this point is the center and the uh, the circle is all the points that are at the same distance from the center so uh if i look at uh if i have my ruler here uh let's see so in here you see that from the point uh from this point to the center to right here is the same distance that from the center to this point right here and if you go around any other point so this point to here is the same distance from here to here that the same distance from here to here from the same distance from here to here and so on is this point on the circle no why not because it's outside the uh, outside of the circle. It's outside of the circle, which means that actually the distance from the center to this point is too far, is too long. So uh, that's why it's not on the circle, because it's not the same distance that from here to here, say. Uh, so that point here is not in the circle, but this one and this one and that one are in the circle, because then the same distance from that center point C. Okay. By the way, um, one length like this, so one line, one segment that goes from a point in the circle to the center, do you know what that's called? Uh, do you remember? No, I forget. <laughs> so that segment right there is called a radius. I knew that. Okay. Sometimes also we say the length of the radius, we also call it radius, but uh, it's this segment from here to here is a radius. Do you know what a diameter is? Um, it's twice the length of the radius. T twice the length of the radius will be the diameter. So a, a diameter is a line from a point to a point in the circle that goes through the center. So a straight line or a straight segment that goes... Um, oh, oops that goes from one point in the plane to another. So let's do a line like this. Okay, so I have to go through the center and um, from a point to a point, so like that. So, whoops, I went too far, so we'll, we'll cut it in a moment. So uh, from here 
to here, that's a diameter. And as you said, because up to here is a radius, then up to here is a radius. So uh, what huh? we called, uh, this is a diameter. Again, a diameter is a line that goes from a point in the circle to another point in the circle and goes through the center. And what you said is that the length of the radius or the, the length of the diameter is twice the length of the radius, which is what we see in the picture, right? Yeah. All right, very good. So um, why don't we stop there for today? And uh, what we're going to do in the next video is talked about uh, talk about angles. We're talking, going to talk about angles. We're going to talk about the the uh, the most common angles, uh, 360 degrees. We're going to talk about what a degree is, and then once we have angles, uh, we can start doing some cool things in geometry. All right? Um, are we going to talk about perpendicular lines? Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So that's a very good question. Let, let's go back to here. So. Uh, here we had secant uh, lines and parallel lines. A very other, a very important is when lines are perpendicular. But to talk about perpendicular, we need to know about angles because we need to know what angle that is to say they, are they perpendicular. So that's why okay. we have to talk about angles first. Very good. All right. So thank you for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. And hope you like the thank you for watching sign. I yeah, know. isn't it pretty? <laughs> Oh, do you remember this guy? Who's this guy? Um, Euclid. Euclid, yes. The father of geometry. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.